Richard Miles Sr., CEO, Chairman, Founder of the Minor Football League. The Minor Football League is the laboratory of change. And when I say the laboratory of change, I want people to know uh, we want to make the playing field level. We want to bring former players from the field to the front office. Also, we want people of color to understand what generational wealth is, also what economic development is. Uh, as you know, people of color, we're the biggest consumers in America. Um, and we had nothing to show for it. So we want to kind of make the playing field level. As you know, um, we are people of color. The NFL is, and I stated in laboratory, change with what brought about this. You know, uh, the NFL had 32 franchises, right? And thousands of universities around the country. Now you do the math. You know, everybody might be one in, a, in two or three million that you'll get a shot to play in the NFL. Mm -hmm. I want young men to understand, we see you, we hear you, and I tell them all the time, it's not that you're not good enough to play in the NFL, it's not enough room. So it has to be a developmental league. You have to, you have a, 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 a in basketball, you have D league basketball, minor league baseball, never minor league football. Now, mm -hmm. have, groups call themselves, uh, Semi-pro. There's no such thing as semi-pro. If you're pro, you're not. That was the mm -hmm. term people used to justify saying about football. So this was a dream of mine because I dared to be different. And I said, you know, why not a, a minor league system? Uh, mm -hmm. When men can come, they will they still be relevant. It give them an opportunity, provide an opportunity you don't find outside of college or professional um, football. So that's what the, uh, the thought process of me forming this league. The challenge was uh, no one wanted to believe in me because people don't believe in your dream. You know, your dream is your dream. And, and I understand that. So I used my money when I started out because I was a little arrogant too. And I told people the MFL gonna go with or without them. And sometimes people want to see if you can do it. People to sit back, people watch you, but they want to see what you do. I even talked to a few friends of mine that played in the league and I asked them to come with me and they said, no. Well, they, their girlfriend was opening up uh, nail salons or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, one friend of mine, a good friend of mine, he did come with me, uh, Bobby Wilson. He was the Redskins number one draft choice in 91, and we just lost him four months ago. You know, he passed. Um, but he did come. He said, well, you know, if I'm not, if I don't play because he was injured, he said, I'm coming with you because I believe in what you're doing. And, you know, it's hard to get people to believe in what you're doing. The, the, um, the, the problems that I had, that people didn't want to believe you. And then people didn't want to uh, trust you. And I tell people all the time, because you're my complexion, that don't make you my kind. And mm -hmm. you, know, you know that. So um, I pushed on and I was determined that I would uh, see this thing too. And right now, by the help of the Lord, it, 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 it now people see it. Uh, we've been around a long time. A lot of people don't can believe it. They, when they call the offer, they ask, is this real? This can't mm -hmm. be real. <laughs> you know, because, you know, we are not supposed to be able to do the things that I'm doing, you're doing, and several people like ourselves. I dare to be different. See, I don't have a mm -hmm. problem with that. I don't have a problem in a man that don't go far but never know how far he can go. And I tell people all the time, I'm going. I'll worry about getting back when I get there, but I'm going to do so good, there won't be no need for me to come back. That's the mm -hmm. that I always had. My message I want to uh, leave for people, first of all, the MFL, you know, I, we have women GMs here. We, I'm looking to have women owners, and I want women to know we want, we have a place at the table for you. Uh, we want, we see you, we want you, you know, we want you to understand. Don't worry about money in terms of buying the franchise, but we're going to finance it ourselves to make sure that you're successful in this journey if you choose to own a franchise here but what i want to leave with people is this it's good to be make yourself uh a visible where people can make sure you know people know when you come in the room they don't necessarily have to know when you leave the room but they're gonna know you was there also mm -hmm. people to talk about you when you're not in the room sometimes you're not gonna be able to get in the room but when you have people to talk about you then people gonna want you in that room so that's all the way.